All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, I've been doing so much work that it really feels like time is passing like faster than a day, you know. But uh, I've been really, uh, I've been really hitting the tutorials and videos and work uh, pretty hard. So I'm actually going to, uh, I think maybe later this weekend when you know things calm down the market, maybe at the end of this week. You know, it depends on how my workload feels. I'm actually gonna go in and take a look at the e-commerce store section of the Hustlers University because I actually want to do affiliate marketing because that's actually easier um, and much less time intensive. Because all you do is throw up a website, just say some stuff, and then run ads on it. And they just make infinite money. You don't have to deal with anything, you know. But you know that section's not uh, not under construction, so I might as well just make e-commerce, right? Specifically, drop shipping, right? Because I I'm a little familiar with it before, because you just source everything from Alibaba, right, and then ship it over. The only downside is, even though it's cheap to do and you can make a lot of money, it's very time intensive. So I don't know, but. This time I'll have an actual real course, and there's actually a lot of people in the subsection for that, so I know it's probably making people a lot of money. So yeah, yeah, because you know, as nice as this is, I actually just realized I have to set up a, I have to create a new company. I'm gonna have it in corporate in Florida. Uh, I gotta get a bank account for that. I gotta do all this stuff because I need to separate myself from the income, right? The IRS doesn't really care. All they care about is. Hey, you, you know, you give us money, you owe us money, give us money. And I'm like, okay, all right. So it's really because I want to avoid state and local taxes, all right. So I, I'll talk about it some other time. But either way, oh, um, actually, I do want to say, this, I didn't go on my profile. Okay, you can't see it because of my thing here. So I find, so I finally. Like I have a, I still have th two open trades, and I couldn't take the Microsoft trade that went out yesterday, right? And it's our, and it made it was a day trade, and it made forty nine percent gains, right? And he only sold half, right? But he put out the technically I'm violating the rules because my stock market account only has two thousand dollars in it. Well now it's a lot more now, thankfully, uh, especially after this play. But basically I was able to. Oh, you can't see. On the upper right corner, I just say I have to I have to find the correct uh, page because this is not the right page. Because but the UI on my brokerage site is like really bad. But basically, for 20 minutes of work, because uh, that was the alert that came out, I had to modify the trade because I came in a little late and I wasn't comfortable spending 600 bucks to maybe make 700 bucks to sell it to resell for 700. Yeah, I made an in I basically made instant 20 percent. So just you'll have to do the math here, but basically subtract 450, 54 from whatever this is, and that's my net profit. So it's about 20%, maybe a little more, whatever. So I'm definitely gonna be posting this because I do want to make a review of Hustlers University. All right. Um, believe it or not, I'll probably need to also post some of the losses that I take too, because it, it needs to be realistic, right? But on the other hand, it's like, you know, the people are like, ah, oh, you know, I don't want to do it. It's just money management. So, you know, we're going to be making some good money. Well, I will be. And then, you know, yeah. And then all of you who are interested will just do the Hustlers University shit. And then we actually get that rich, you know, I'll see you in the war room, right? Because in order to stay, you have to pay a lot of money to be in there. You network with other millionaires and possibly billionaires. That's what he says. I think I can actually see it, but it's more likely probably millionaires, deco millionaires, maybe even hundred millionaires, meaning hundred a million or more. Uh, and then you have to do the meetups because uh, if you're not active, then they kick you out. Like Cobra Day kicks you out because it's like, hey, you're supposed to work to stay in, right? Because that's how you know winners roll. So it's like, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure Mike Sandwich might still be in there too. So. All right, so that's that, you know, so good things are coming. So even if everything goes to shit, you know, we have a backup plan, or at least I do. So, you know, so now I'm not as concerned, all right, because I'm definitely going to make a shit ton of money, but there's just so much more. I have to rewire a lot of the problems that I have in my head. I mean, I've done pretty well for myself, but now it's time to take it to the next level. So, I mean, I honestly, I know I should not go back to this, but I honestly did not think this would work, all right, because this was conflicting with what I teach on this channel. But... He was right. Freaking markets went down in power hour, right? 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern New York City time, right? Well, Eastern United States, a.k.a. New York City time. And then all of a sudden, it just went down, right? The markets went down and Adobe went down. And then I used the sharp ratio to check, 
Should I hold it or should I uh, wait till, t uh, or should I sell it now? I actually saw that the sharp ratio for Adobe compared to like Microsoft and, and I think I compared it to Google, right? Other big tech companies and Amazon. Yeah, the sharp ratio was higher than all of them. I was like, oh shit, that means if this thing's going down, it's not going to go down as much. So it's like, so basically it's telling me Adobe is a very strong stock. So that means I better just take the day trade profit now. So it's like, I would never have known that if I didn't, if I didn't have the Hustler University shit. So like, I'm learning so much stuff. In fact, I already did the video yesterday on sharp ratio. It's on the playlist. You need to watch that. All right, especially if we're going to be doing some crazy day trades. I mean, I'm not going to, I can't reveal the plays on the channel because you're supposed to pay for it. So I will respect that. But the idea is, you know, <sighs> see, that's the thing. When you actually have something valuable, you actually don't want to tell everyone, right? So, unless you pay for it, because that's the point, you know, so anyway, <sighs> Yeah, so this is uh, this is good, and of course, crypto is really doing well too. So, well, for now, I mean, GDP number is going to be out uh, probably later today, right? It's like 8:48 a.m., and for the most part, you know, the markets are basically doing exactly what they did yesterday, right? Go up, right? Bonds, the U.S. bond market, the U.S. debt markets are pretty stable. For the first time in a while, the U.S. dollar index is actually continuing to go down. So finally, as inflation is raging across the rest of the world, they're raising this, their central banks are raising their interest rates. So therefore, the demand for foreign currencies, right, yen, British pound, euro, whatever, you know, those are going up, right? So people are dumping their dollars to go buy that. Now, the thing is, foreign currencies are heavily oversold, right? Even Chuck Barone said he was thinking about doing a short-term play on buying up euros and selling his dollars because it's so over over like sold and then the european union just like they're starting to raise their interest rates so yeah so that's why we're seeing this and believe it or not everyone including us americans actually do need to see the dollar weaken because if the dollar gets too strong i mean the problem is multi all our all our corporations in america they have presence of uh, presence uh, outside the world in fact they make most of their money from the world and then they sell those currencies and bring a little bit of the money back here. That can't happen if the dollar's too strong because now you're making less and less money because, you know, the U.S. dollar is like 10, 20, 30 percent stronger, all right? So it really just kills everyone's profit, all right? And it's all, it also hurts other nations because the dollar is so strong, now they can't buy as much stuff from America too, all right? We, can, we still export something. I have no idea what it is, but I know we still have an export economy of some kind. Okay, we, America, despite all its problems, is actually a pretty well-balanced uh, economy. It's just the problem is our leaders are deliberately destroying it. So, but, you know, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Okay, so, uh, I'll wait more earnings. So this week is just going to be kind of nuts because of earnings, but as we already know from Greg Manorino, I mean, fundamentals don't really matter that much because everything is just, you know, determined by these clouds, the Federal Reserve. In fact, uh, I already refreshed it. Yeah, I mean, this repo, this reverse repo stuff is still not going down. So, I don't know, I guess we'll have to see how the uh, the inflation, you know, kicks in. Because basically what I've been learning in the Hustlers University, the, uh, the stock channel, I don't know, I don't want to keep saying those words over because it's like, so repetitive. So basically, in the Hustlers stock channel, I guess I'll call it that, right uh he's a technical analysis trader mostly and basically he's been saying that everything's been trading in a range right it's called a chop where it goes up and then down in a range so it's kind of fixed right we click over here All right, let's go over here uh okay yeah so you can see that it make it, it approximately creates a range like you see this double top here it's a triple top and then it has one bottom here Right, he, right now he still is pretty bearish, and that's because we still have a bunch of crap happening, and especially next week. So that's why there's a lot of uncertainty in the market, and it's just difficult to trade. But basically a chop is up and down, up and down, and then it's just a stupid range, and it's just very frustrating to trade. So right now it's the same, it looks like it's, 
He has, it's not, it's almost 9.30, so he hasn't uh, updated us yet, but he's online, so he's probably up, he's analyzing and writing it up now. But chances are he's probably going to say, oh, it's the same thing as yesterday, we, we, it was suckers rally, and then back down again. So that's basically what we're seeing here. The exception could be cryptocurrencies, because this has been consistently going up. And by the way, I'm actually going to be buying more Ethereum, if I had more uh, spare income. Uh, but that actually is... Crypto hustlers' uh, secret sauce. So <laughs> I can't. I, I can't tell you why. Uh, but with that being said, other cryptos are doing just fantastic. I mean, just look at these seven days, right? I mean, you look at the one hour and twenty-four hours. But you want the overall picture. At Avax kicking ass. Polygon's heading to a dollar. So that's like the best performing alt right now. Solana is actually roaring back. So really, you could just do pretty well doing anything, right? But um. But yeah, so it's good money. Uh, bear market Twitter accounts are still saying we're uh, it's a sucker's rally or coming in uh, for another crash, right? And so it's it's difficult to say. It's difficult to say because there's just so much distortions. Right? Like there's just so much bullshit going on. So again, and then if we look, all right, crude oil is down after a major rally, right? I'm pretty sure natural gas. Is natural gas, yeah, natural gas is down, all right, so today we'll probably be down too, because this is all, these are numbers from yesterday, because this is all an update until 9.30, because obviously the markets are not open, um, and again, Wall Street is still pricing in like a 70, 69, 70% chance, and we're only getting a 75 basis per, uh, point rate hike instead of 1%, right, but again, with my own two eyes, I do see inflation and commodity prices and stuff coming down all right so let's take a look at here yeah this is down so i hate to say this but you know when they're saying that inflation might be peaking they might actually be telling the truth for once in their life because i'm seeing it here because if that's not true this shit should be way up crude oil pdbc right an aggregate of you know many many commodities this should all be going up like crazy but it's not Right, and again, the reason why is we're in a recession. Right, this thing is still telling us we're in a recession. So when we're in a recession, inflation comes down. That's why, in order to combat inflation, the best way to do it is to slow down the economy and induce a recession. So it's like, you know, which way do you want to get effed up the ass? Right, you know, would you prefer to have it done without your consent, but you have Vaseline, or you can have no Vaseline but with your consent? Either option sucks, and in both cases, you're still getting effed up the ass, right? So it's just a matter of how do you want it done. So that's basically exactly what's happening here, right? Pretty crazy stuff, isn't it? Pretty crazy stuff. And because of all this confusion and conflicting fundamentals and whatever, that is why the markets are not showing a clear direction, right? Because it's reflective of opposing fundamental negatives you know battling it out for you know how is how are things going to change uh in going into the future so you know that's again that's the reason why i don't like all this everything's going up right i don't really hear anyone saying it but i hear everyone saying everything's going down it's armageddon it's doom no all right the truth as always is you know generally somewhere in the middle yeah, it could be doom and gloom and complete disaster, but essential banks actually know that. That's why they're like interfering with so much, uh, you know, with the markets and stuff and trying to prop things up. But on the other hand, their priority really is in reducing inflation. So they're trying to do, like, from what I can tell, they're actually going to be successful so far in creating a slow, soft landing, aka slow burn, right, rather than a steep crash. And then mass chaos. On top of that, this year's election is a basically every mid. What is it called? A midterm election. Basically, the the even years that are not the presidential election years, right? I forgot the term, but I think it's midterm elections or whatever. Every midterm election now is a presidential election. So basically, every single major election that we have is every two years now. So that's this year. <clears throat> So I'm pretty sure the central banks and the Federal Reserve have a pretty huge incentive to kind of keep Republicans out, right? Because, you know, our usefulness as controlled opposition is no longer needed, right? You know, and I'm pretty sure there's still some right-wing people that do actually work in the Fed, too. So, 
I don't know, man. There's just, there's just like a lot of crazy shit going on right now. So, I mean, it sucks because in order to really say what I need to say, I need the markets to uh, be open. But I can't. I but but now that I'm doing day trading essentially, and I'm also checking the cryptocurrency uh, hus uh channel, right? You know, my my like I need I need my 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. right because that's where I make the money. Because in fact, I didn't make this Adobe trade. Right, this day trade on Adobe until like 3:20 p.m. and then I sold it around 3:50 or 3:40. Right, I mean, I mean, it was 3:30 to 3:50, but I just know it was about 20 minutes because I was like, "Holy cow! I just made a shit ton of money!" Like, like, like and I, more importantly, I didn't even think or see to do this. So I was like, "This completely contradicts what I do." It's like, "Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm following the trade signals in the in the Discord channel." So, yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm seeing, okay, so this was actually the same thing as yesterday. Debt market sold off a little bit, but cash went into crypto and stocks, right, before coming back down. And despite all the pullbacks, right, at the end of the trading day, the dollar also kept going down anyway. Now, the U.S. dollar is down again after coming up. Now I'm seeing the same thing. U.S. debt market selling off slightly. And money right now flowing into stocks and cryptocurrencies. All right. So, okay. All right. So we'll have to see what happens today. And of course, uh, I'm still short because that's what this trade signals are. So I don't know. I guess uh, I mean I have to see what. Has he updated it yet? There's a futures play. There's a daily analysis. Actually, I'll I'll read you what he wrote. Uh, I'm reading from my Chrome Discord. So daily analysis for today, as mentioned in the weekend watch list, the out likely outcome this week will be chop and market is staying true to that. Overnight bounce after yesterday's sell-off as we continue to chop is in the 372 to 388 range for the fourth week in a row. Uh, he's talking about the spider, SPY, S&P 500. Supports today again stand at 384 and 378, 380 below, which we can see a big sell off to 372. Resistance is still 3388. I doubt that any real resolution will come before Netflix and Tesla earnings, so expect today to be a range bound day. Not many new alerts for today. We'll simply manage the current position, scout for some quick scout plays, and stay patient otherwise. That's going to be a problem for me because I already. I already used up all three day trade counters, so I can't day trade today, which sucks. Uh, remember, bear markets open higher and close lower, so don't freak out with these gap ups. Pay attention to the zones and good luck today, geez. Yeah, this guy is so fucking smart. All right, I'm gonna see because I'm doing this video, I still have to figure out what I'm gonna do about the day trade. Because if I take the day trade and I can't sell it in today i have to hold until tomorrow so i have to decide if i want to yet again you know break off from what i'm supposed to be doing because yeah so it sucks i need twenty five thousand dollars in my freaking stock market account and then i can day trade as much as i want this is so frustrating there's money being made and i'm being left behind it's like it's so g word but what are you gonna do all right so anyway you can watch the U.S. debt market. If this obviously goes uh, out of control, right? So far, I mean, it's seen, it's it's a little it's a little high, but I mean, it's also somewhat normal because again, we see money flowing into like all this stuff. So this isn't so bad at all. And you know, we'll just keep an eye out on the recession and inflation, right? And of course, you know, a quick a, a quick check is I just look at PDBC, you know, so it makes sense. Yeah, if energy is going down and commodities are coming down, then, I mean, inflation has to come down. I see it. I didn't post a picture, right? I wound up deleting it, but my, my gas station, right, when I that I used to pass by when I used to go to Burger King, which I don't go to anymore because save money and, you know, eat, you know, eat healthier, right? Yeah, gas prices came down. It's still for like five sixty nine for like the really expensive gas. The cheaper, the cheapest shitty gas is like four. 69 or 459 a gallon right and then again at target you know prices are some prices are cheap some are the same as they always were and then i don't buy the expensive brand name stuff but i think that has come down slightly as well so not but not everything right it's still it's still pretty expensive 
So, I mean, I'm seeing evidence of, uh, you know, things cooling off a bit, all right? And it should, because again, we're in a recession, and then they're going to update this number. They'll probably update this around 9.30, 10, 10.30 a.m., all right? And it usually takes them about, like, a couple hours or so. So, yeah, so I don't really have anything for you. I read you the daily analysis. I actually just realized I could actually at least read you the daily analysis from the stock channel from Hustlers University. Now, it is geared toward technical analysis, so, yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, I'll start pushing the uh, affiliate link on my Twitter, you know, maybe after a couple of weeks. I need to have a really good sample size so I can ha so I do the review video and pin it to this channel's playlist. You know, I want to make sure that people get a really good detail delved into it because there's... Because I see a lot of people search for Hustlers University on YouTube, but almost none of them have like fucking shit for actual like plays or reviews and results. It's like, what what is this? So as always, me being the new, new and improved G, right? That seems to be the word the Cobra Tate community likes to use. You know, then I'll do a superior job, right? And then, uh, you know, buy my homes, right? Move out of New York, new shit city. Just get out of here, buy some real estate, you know, and then finally maybe like you know find a girlfriend or whatever. All right, because I can kind of tell like you know the hot girls are like coming uh, like are, are showing up all over the place, but I can't get distracted with beautiful women. You know, not not yet. Like you know, I, I got work to do. So, uh, so for the most part, I think uh, I think for the most part. We'll have to proceed pretty cautiously and defensively. Like you can slowly buy things, um, but we are in a soft landing bear market. And with this amount of interference from central banks, I think it'll it should be okay, right? Should be okay. But again, we need we need some direction uh, after July 28th, which is next Thursday, right? Oh God, it feels like it's going to be forever, but. Calm before in the storm. Yeah. So, anyway, that's where we're at. So, uh, like, subscribe, share this video around. Uh, thank you again to all the old and new people watching this uh, video. Uh, welcome, welcome, and thank you, thank you. Uh, now that I am, you know, doing a lot more work, uh, the content will actually start improving. Uh, well, not improving. Well, it's always improving, but uh, what I will be talking about will be somewhat different, because that's the point. You know, keep growing, keep evolving while still making, you know, good money. And I kind of need to, because uh, Anthony Scaramucci is getting wrecked right now, right? It says, I actually watched, looked at this article right before I hit the record button. He, he has halted his withdrawals, all right? His Skybridge hedge fund, or why is this not working? His Skybridge hedge fund has have, have stopped withdrawals. You can't get your money out. So, you know, on the one hand, I like him. On the other hand, I kind of find him annoying. But, you know, whatever. That's a different story for another time. And, uh, well, like uh, Ayush said, bear, bear days always start off higher and then end lower. So, all right. All right, we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow, because tomorrow is Wednesday. I don't know. Do we? I don't actually know uh, what kind of stuff we have really going. Yeah, I mean, this week is just going to be, like, just a range day, right? So, all right. But, yeah, I'm not too worried, you know. All right, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Think about what I said, and then definitely check out the sharp ratio video I did yesterday. It's on the playlist, right? The sharp, you can just skip right ahead to it. It's like the medium, it's like the halfway point to the end of the video. That sharp ratio has already made me money, and I can kind of see, oh, so this is what, so this is how it works. <laughs> all right, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and. Um, I'm thinking there's something I might need to say, but I can't remember. Oh, God. Okay, the, I, the microphone is on. Jesus. Yeah, I, I, think we'll, I think that's it. All right, see you tomorrow. Thank you.